My entrant for 2022 U.S. event horse futurity is Indy, or Kryptonite, as is her registered name. She is by Contrato, a Holsteiner stallion who's a really nice modern type. Um, these are some pictures of him at his stallion performance test. Um, she's out of my off-the-track thoroughbred warhorse mare, USS Sea Lion or Secret. Um, she was a very competitive turf horse who... Uh, was then my event and um, dressage horse. There she is at the Westphalen inspection. Um, Unfortunately, her career got cut short um, because she was a bit accident prone. And when I say a bit, I'm saying that nicely. Um, She was a super mover, um, game jumper, extremely quirky. Um, There's Indy when she's born. Um, And so when I was picking a stallion, I wanted something that would um, both improve her neck set a little bit, um, but then also just have a good workmanlike attitude to sort of offset the spiciness of my mare a little bit. Um, And so I ended up going with Contrato um, just due to speaking with the owner of him. He seemed like a really good fit in terms of both type and temperament. Uh, This is a video of Indy learning how to um, lead as a foal. She (laughs) took after her mom a lot in the sense that she was super willful from birth, super independent. Um, She was my first homebred. We always joked that it was sort of a teen mom experiment because at the time I had no idea what I was doing and Indy was sort of the experiment. Um, And I would say she has turned out shockingly well based on... um, all of my mistakes early on. Um, but she had, uh, just her mom's sass. Um, she from birth lived out with my gelding who I'm riding around on in this part of the video without any tack. Um, and her mom, they self weaned, which was kind of interesting. I didn't have to separate them for weaning. Um, just super independent. She's also a big fan of naps. As you can see here, it's one of her favorite activities. Um, She's super, super just friendly and outgoing. She's really smart. She's one of the smartest horses I've ever had. Um, She's super brave. She's generally actually pretty quiet, but she is a bit quirky. She's definitely got her mom sort of buck rear spin combo, Um, although thankfully she's not quite as naughty about it under tack as her mom was. Um, And... Uh, You know, I bred her just wanting a really nice um, kind of all-around mare that could also be um, upper-level event horse if I um, choose to go that route again, but also just a horse that I could really enjoy. Um, And I've had a great time with her so far. Um, She's been been to um, some outings, and we've done just a ton of work with her here at the farm in terms of groundwork, um, under saddle. Um, Caitlin and Dan Classing are the riders for the U.S. event Futurity with her this year, and um, they got her going under saddle for me after I had backed her um, in her three-year-old year, year, and then she came back here to me. Um, We hacked around and flatted a bit for a couple of months, and then she had some time off to grow, and I am just getting her um, legged up again. She's super smart. Um, She's remembered everything, which has been great. And I've just been really happy with her and how much um, in terms of attributes she's taken um, seems to be the best of both her sire and dam. Um, I still have her mom. She's retired here in the farm. She's due with her second foal by Vagabond de la Palm the end of March, um, which will be cool just to see how she compares to, um, to Indy. Um, but really I have just been super, um, super thrilled with her and her development. Um, and I think, you know, the lines ended up crossing really well, um, which is cool. I I definitely think the, um, Contendra one type lines cross really well with, uh, with thoroughbreds in particular. And, um, you know, I, I, this was my mare's first breeding. She was a maiden and I didn't want to risk frozen for her first, um, first try, which is why I ended up going with, um, Contrato who was based in the U S and was a son of Contendra one. Um, and so I could, 
uh, you know, get that line I really liked, um, but have a little better shot of conception for a first go round with, um, uh, with fresh semen rather than frozen. So I'm super excited about the cross. I can't wait to see what Caitlin and Dan, um, do with her in the U.S. event futurity this year. Um, this will be my first time playing owner and I'm really excited about it. Um, I know she's in great hands and I can't wait to see how she does. So thank you guys so much for following along with her journey.